Yes, they look a bit random. But these huge, muddy, E-shaped banks are a scientific experiment, the first of its kind in the world. As they get covered in plants, they'll attract butterflies. So you can see here that the sun is on the southern facing side, and we've got a shadier aspect on the north. So butterflies can warm up in, in the sun in the morning, and then if it gets too hot for them, they can shelter in the shade. Because climate change, you know, things getting warmer, it's really affecting the butterflies, is it already? Yes, exactly. So lots of butterflies are moving northwards to track the temperatures that they need. But many species can't move northwards, so we need to be looking at how we can create habitats and create these changes in topography on our nature reserves and in the wider landscape. Some butterfly species are very sensitive to changes in temperature. By catching, I said by catching, yep, keep going. So Andrew, some, some classy network there. Yep. Did you get it? I, got, I did, I did. <laughs> it's, um, it's a meadow brown. By catching and then taking the body temperature of different species with a small probe, researchers can monitor how they're coping with climate change. We've looked at this and found that species that are good at keeping their body temperature stable have better long-term population trends in the UK and species that are less good at it have got more negative trends, they're declining more, more rapidly. And so what we're interested in here is whether these banks can help butterflies cope with those changes. So by providing the north facing slopes that might be a little bit cooler and the south facing slopes that might be a little bit warmer, does that help butterflies that struggle with temperature control to, to adjust their body temperature in response to changes? The real science starts next spring, but there were still a few stragglers we left this year. Small white, so you see that lovely yellow underwing. So the really interesting thing about the white butterflies is that they're the ones that really stand out with the best ability to control their own body temperature um, and we think that that's probably to do with their their colour. Oh that's it. Yeah. They're not difficult to catch in open air. Yeah. This is a really interesting one. This is a small heath um, which is one of our most widespread butterflies in that it's found across the UK but also one of our fastest declining um, and we don't really know why. We haven't got to the bottom of it. Oh, and it's just got caught in a spider's web. Oh, no! Two-thirds of butterfly species are in decline. They're pollinators and play a key role in our environment. This makes the point perfectly, really, doesn't it? Why are we interested in butterflies? Well, it's not just about the butterflies, but they're an important part of the food chain. And other, things, other things eat them. And therefore, if we know the butterflies are doing well, we know that they're supporting the rest of the ecosystem. As the weather gets warmer and some butterflies struggle... Where does it go? I can see it. It's going to go over that fence. Scientists hope their new experiment will help more survive. It's gone. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Bedfordshire.